We have a very fun video for you today. A couple years ago, I did a video shoot showing how I integrated a 38 inch LG ultra wide monitor into my editing setup. And today I'm integrating a new screen into my editing setup, a 65 inch LG OLED TV. That's right, a TV. Now, full disclosure, this isn't meant to be used as a computer monitor and there are some drawbacks to be aware of, but I want to talk in this video about why I will be using this as a computer monitor and why I love LG OLED TVs in general. Speaking of which, big thanks to LG for sponsoring sponsoring this video and sending me this beautiful piece of technology. It's always a beautiful day when a company whose products you already use and love wants to send you a free product. I'm kind of a technology nerd, love all things tech, and TVs are one of those technologies that I love seeing advancements in. So when LG came out with their original OLED TV, I of course bought a 65 inch version on Black Friday. And the following Black Friday, I bought a 77 inch version of that OLED TV. And so when LG offered to send me a free one for this year's Black Friday, of course I said yes. As I was probably going to end up buying the latest version again this year anyway. So thanks LG for making my Black Friday less expensive this year and in exchange I will now tell everyone why I love your TV so much. So before I show you how I've incorporated this beauty into my editing setup, first let me share with you five features that set LG OLED TVs apart from others. And just FYI, I've purchased about every other brand of television over the years and I can honestly say that LG OLEDs are by far my favorite and here are five reasons why. Number one is they have the best overall image quality. I believe OLED technology to be the best screen tech on the market. And for those of you who don't know what OLED means and what makes it special, let me explain. LG OLED displays have 8.3 million self-illuminating pixels that can turn on and off individually so that when an image has blacks, you get perfect blacks. This makes it a dream TV for filmmakers like me who want to see the images they produced in their fullest glory. Reason number two is that it has amazing color accuracy. As a filmmaker, there's nothing worse than when you finish a video, then watch it on someone's TV that has terrible, inaccurate, dull colors, making your film look unprofessional when it's really just the display that's screwing up your images. LG OLEDs, however, support most HDR formats like Dolby Vision, Technicolor, and HDR10, which basically means you're getting to see colors in their richest, most vibrant, most accurate form. And there are different calibration modes to fit your needs depending on what you're using the TV for. Reason number three is a wide viewing angle. Most TVs will look washed out the farther away you're sitting from the dead center of the TV. With LG OLED, however, no matter where where you're sitting, the image remains vibrant and contrasty, giving all viewers in the room, regardless of their seating position, the same great viewing experience. Reason number four is a sleek look. Now this one isn't quite as important of a feature, but it is definitely a selling point that the TV just looks good. One of my favorite things to show new guests is not only the stunning image quality of the TV, but also the incredible thinness of the display being thinner than an iPhone. This always gets a rise out of people who've never seen an OLED TV before. And reason number five is voice control and a magic remote. First off, the Magic Remote is unlike any other remote feature I've used as it allows you to wave the remote around like a wand and click on things with a pointer arrow. Not to mention you also have voice control so you don't have to spend five minutes typing movie titles into search bars. You just click the voice button, say The Office, and you can immediately start watching the best show on earth. Now there's plenty of other features I could talk about, but those are my personal five favorite reasons why I have filled my house with LG OLED TVs. But let's now talk about how I plan to integrate this beauty into my current video editing setup. First off, my current editing setup has been great, but I've oftentimes found myself exporting out my videos and then going into my living room and watching them on my OLED TVs. And after seeing the images on a huge display with OLED contrast and color accuracy, I'll often spot things in my color grades that I didn't see on my smaller non-OLED displays and then I'll have to go back in the edit and make adjustments. So the idea and goal is to have a dedicated OLED display for my editing setup so that I can quickly reference what my images look like on the big screen and in OLED quality and catch anything that I wanna fix while I'm still editing. Secondly, another reason that I wanna integrate this into my editing setup is because I spend about eight hours a day staring at a computer screen that's only two feet from my face. And even with taking regular breaks and whatnot, by the end of the day, my eyes are always super fatigued and I oftentimes get headaches because of focus fatigue. So the idea with using a much bigger display in the 65 inch OLED is that because it's so much bigger, I can place it farther away from my face while still being able to see everything big enough on the screen, which should reduce the amount of focus fatigue my eyes undergo since they're now only having to focus six feet away instead of two feet away. And after having tried it out for a couple weeks, I can say that it does indeed help. Not quite as much as I was hoping, but I definitely do feel a difference. Now there are a few drawbacks to be aware of of using a TV for a computer monitor. Like I mentioned, TVs aren't meant 
meant to be used as monitors, and here's a couple reasons why. The first reason is input lag. Now, all TVs are going to give you a slight lag between when you move your mouse to when you see that mouse move on your screen, but LG OLEDs have one of the lowest input lags at about 13 milliseconds to be exact, which isn't really noticeable with most things you do. I say the only time I really notice a lag is when I'm trying to cut perfectly to a beat of a song. In those times, you will notice that the audio will be off by a frame or two. So for those times, I'll have to use my iMac display for that type of precision timing. But for everything else, it isn't much of an issue. And for the least amount of lag as possible, I recommend going to the game mode in your settings. And to be able to experience correct motion blur, I recommend also turning off true motion, not only for using as a monitor, but just watching films in general. This tries to artificially blend frames to reduce motion blur, and it can take away from the cinematic motion blur that filmmakers intended to be there, so I recommend turning that off. Now the second drawback, which is actually an overblown myth that I'll address shortly, is called image retention or burn-in. Image retention occurs when you leave a static image like a Premiere Pro menu bar at the top for extremely long periods of time without changing the image, which has been rumored to cause a silhouette of the image to be retained on the screen. Burn-in is the same thing but means the retained image burns into the screen permanently. Now personally, I've never experienced either of these in my couple years of using LG OLED TVs, but it is something to be aware of that all OLED TVs are susceptible to it. LG informed me though that it is super rare and that Netflix, Dolby, and Technicolor all use LG OLED TVs as their reference monitors when color grading their shows and movies, and they've never had a burn-in issue. And I provided a couple links in the description that debunk this LG OLED TV burn-in myth. But in the rare occasion that you do experience image retention, LG has a way to refresh the pixel so that it goes away. So it's not nearly as big of a deal as people make it out to be. Just be smart and turn off your TV after a day of using it and you shouldn't have an issue. But there you have it guys, that's a look at my new editing setup. Always fun switching things up and trying out new things. If you'd like to pick up one of these OLED TVs, you can click the link in the description. Also make sure to buy during the Black Friday sale like I always do to save some cash. But that's it folks, thanks for tuning in. To learn how to up your production value of your videos to be able to land clients like LG, make sure to check out fulltimefilmmaker.com where we teach you how to become a pro at shooting and editing video content. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. And if you have any further questions, please let me know.